Jason brought this extraordinary grill. I saw this grill in Texas on my last visit to Dallas. I spoke at the Dallas Arboretum and I had such a beautiful visit afterwards at uh, Treehouse. Mm -hmm. It's a beautiful story. You can look it up online, tree.house. But what's, what caught my eye was this guy. Absolutely. And this is the most beautiful grill I have ever laid eyes on. Have you ever seen anything prettier? Never. Never, yes. And I'll tell you something about the grill. I, I, I've never worked with it before. And Jason asked me, Pat, what temperature would you like it on? And I asked for 500 degrees, and it was at 400. It went to 500 with a few tweaks of Jason in a matter, in a minute. Like, yeah, look, matter of minutes. It, it was so no what makes this grill superior to all other grills? Well, the, the ceramics hold in the heat, which also hold in, holds in the moisture. Uh, and you, you start with great meats, you want them to finish and be delicious. And so uh, it, it holds in the temperature. Uh, it's a very uh, thick ceramic. It's hot. It is yeah. hot, but uh, it's not quite as hot as if you were working with a metal grill. Right. Uh, and we love it because it uses lump hardwood char charcoal that's sustainable. And uh, you can customize the color. Uh, there's so many great things about this grill that yes, we what, love. What really struck me was that you can customize the color. The one at Treehouse is a little bit paler gray than this, mm -hmm. but I sent a color chip down and I wanted Bedford Gray to match my homes here in Bedford. The whole farm is Bedford Gray, and you did a fantastic Thank job. You. This is amazing. Thank Customization you. is everything. It is now, you know, because because you want to have something that looks really pretty in your yard. Grills can be god awful ugly. Absolutely. And they work, but they're not so pretty sometimes. So this is, to me, the most beautiful grill. We've got the grill dialed in at the right temperature, right at 500 so degrees. Open it up so you can see inside where the charcoal goes. So it goes down in the you bottom just, of this beautiful ceramic uh, dome. You could just feel the heat oh, yeah. coming Boy. off of it. I also sometimes use wood. How can, is it okay to use wood in here? Uh, you can use wood chips, uh, yeah. but we always uh, recommend charcoal as a base. Okay. Uh, but if you wanna add flavor to your cooking, uh, wood is a great addition. And you can slow cook, uh, you can sear. Uh, the great thing about these is they hold the temperature for a long time and you can maintain them very consistently. With the Kamados, they do best with the lid closed. Uh, and uh, we're, you know, we're keeping it open, obviously, for the demonstration, but- uh, Do you wanna close it? Let's, let's close it sure, for a moment if we can. Sure, And uh, as we- And do you time it? You have, you have to time it? Well, uh, for different things, it's a different timing. Obviously, the steaks, uh, right. you like to sear for how many minutes? It all depends. It all depends on how thick the steak is, so if, uh, the steak is a two inch thick steak, we're gonna want to close it and have it at a lower temperature. This way we cook the steak and we're not burning the outside. You've seen that negative black effect where you're just oh, yeah. burning the outside, but the inside of the steak is still raw. Look, look what's coming out the top. Now what's the temperature now? There's so a very good temperature gauge right we had here. It, we had it open and yeah. it was at 300 and it quickly went to 400 okay. in just a matter of seconds. Okay, and now it's rising so even more. Jason, and show us how, how do we adjust the damper. the damper. Absolutely, so if you if you want to damper the fire down, you you know you close the lid slightly and then there's a damper oh. at the bottom. Oh, and, for more air? And what this does is it pulls the air from the bottom up through the top uh, and, it, and it helps ignite the, the charcoal inside. And so to get it at a higher temperature, you want to open it to allow for more airflow. And the, the great thing about this is you can Look, do... Look, it's rising to 500. Really yes, I mean, that's, that's like that, a that's minute. That's why we're, we're going we're okay, to open it up it. and yeah. we're going to flip. Because what we don't want to do is we don't want to steam the meat. No. And yeah, that's great that this keeps the moisture in. Mm -hmm. but and, and it'll work it to our benefit. But when we flip it, we just want to make sure that... Oh boy. We're starting to get, because we're going to flip it four times. Does the grill have the ability to raise the, the charcoal up? Yeah, so uh, not so much the charcoal, but there's grates that you can put down lower, okay. and then grates that you can put up above. Up higher. Uh, right, I think, I think, yeah, I think if it was lower, um, it might be a little better for the grill marks. Sure. And oh, I see, yeah. And you can put, uh, we've got stones that you can uh, apply to the grills. There's a range of sizes. This is one of the largest uh, ones that we, we carry, but they start in the $700 range and, and go up to $1,500, yeah. which you know, is more than I paid for my first grill, but most people go to the big box store and, and spend you know, 
five hundred dollars on a grill and they throw away several before what? they yeah, yeah before but, they find yeah. the this one uh, it's taken me a long time to find this one and i what, love it takes a long time to find the grill that works yes. for you yeah. and your cooking and your cooking techniques yeah. so and this will be the last grill you ever buy